Hello and welcome. I am Raghav, and today we are going to discuss some more examples on inheritance. I hope you have watched the session on inheritance where I have discussed on what inheritance is and how can we implement inheritance in object oriented programming. So, in the last session, we learned about inheritance and then we created a animal class and then a dog class which extends animal so the dog class becomes a child class or a subclass or a derived class and animal class becomes the parent class or the super class or the base class and we have seen how inheritance works now let us uh, discuss some more examples so that inheritance is very clear to you and i will do a right click on my package and go to new others and search for groovy and i'm going to create a groovy class you can select groovy class or groovy type and this is a class I'm going to name it as car and uh, that I think car we have already created so let me say this as cars and I'll just finish so I have created a class called cars now in inheritance uh, or in object oriented programming what we normally do is suppose we are going to create some entities or some objects we can create a parent class where we can put all the fields and methods which are going to be common for all the objects so for example we can have multiple cars but there will be some properties which will be common to all the cars for example I will say name I will say color and I will say here model so these are the attributes that are going to be common for any car similarly they can be some uh, functions or actions that will be common to all the cars for example I will say start engine and I will create a function for stop engine and I can also create a function for accelerate and so on so we can have some common functions for all the cars so all the properties including functions and attributes which are going to be common for all the cars I can put them into a separate class and that class I can make as a parent class so I will use this and then here let me say inside the start engine method I will say engine started for whatever is the name and similarly in stop engine method I will say engine stopped for whatever is the name of the car and here I can say accelerating whatever is the name of the car so I have got this car class and you can see this is my entire class now I can now create other classes for different cars for example I will just say new and I will create a groovy class again and I will say this is Toyota and I will say finish now here because I want to access or use all these attributes and functions or all these properties from the cars class I can say extends cars so I do not have to write all this again I can directly use them from the cars class and now this has become the child class so Toyota is the child class and cars is the parent class now I can use these attributes and functions or these properties but I can also create some functions or attributes which are specific to Toyota so I can say a function called uh, top speed and I will just say print ln top speed is and I can actually put a variable here int top speed and I will just use it here I'll say dollar top speed so you can see now it can access all this and it also has some properties of its own if I create a new class 
or I can actually create a main method within this class as well so you can have the main method in a separate class and then create objects or you can have it here as well so I will just say I will just copy this and I will create a main method here and here I will create an object so I will say Toyota and I will say I can give it any name let us say car1 equals new Toyota and that's it uh, now I can say car1 dot and you can see it can access everything from cars class and then whatever is present within the Toyota class as well so here I will say name equals Toyota and car1 dot color let us say equals red and car1 dot model equals to let us say 2019 and let me just check if I made model it should be int yeah this was a mistake model should be int so in the cars class I am making model as integer and here then I can also say car1 dot top speed equals to let us say uh, 200 and now I can call all the functions so I can say call start engine I will call accelerate I will call top speed function and then I will call stop engine so these are different functions being called from the parent as well as from the child class and you can see this is my entire class looks like now and to run this I will just do a right click and run as groovy script or java application and you can see the output so it is saying engine started for Toyota accelerating Toyota top speed is 200 engine stopped for Toyota so this is how you use inheritance in real world we can have all the common features and properties in one class and then we can have it inherited in all the classes we need so this was just an example to make the understanding of uh, inheritance more clear to you i hope this was useful for you thank you for watching